I wonder if you know why we're doing this. It really is to further liberate and make use of all of the potential creative resources of your instrument. That's why I'm going to ask you to use your voices. I, I'm wanting very, very much to have out of your breathing your voices to become very free. Now, of course, it does involve the ear, too, as well as the kinesthetic sense. whole body. Make sighing sounds. Sigh. The last time I gave you voice sounds, I gave you the sound. Remember I said growl and hiss and things like that, and then you were to uh, feel the movement quality inherent in the sound. Now I'm going to give you movements, and you're going to try to sense the sound that's inherent in the movement. So if I say to you, make stretchy movements, then you will also make stretchy sounds. Here we go. movements and sounds. to uh, use, I'm going to say, use your movement imagination. That isn't 
here. It's somehow letting your muscles go a little farther, perhaps, in their inner feeling and sensing. Because if I say to you, make a rough movement, rough, I mean not smooth, but rough, how can you do that? Movement isn't rough. I mean, you can't say this is a rough movement. But you can certainly say this movement has a feeling of roughness. This movement, this sound has a feeling of roughness. I mean tactile. We're, we're going now into tactile experiences which can be expressed in movement because you can express anything in movement. Let's see you making rough movements and sounds. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I saw you having some troubles. Well, how do you do it? Well, if it has to do with the, with the uh, sense of touch, then just sort of try to feel what that sense of touch is, is feeling. If you're touching something rough, and then get that same feeling through the whole person. I knew it would be difficult for you, but I think with that out of the way, Everything else should go fairly easy. Oily movements and sounds. individually and separately, but it's a great, even even greater thing to laugh all together. So uh, we almost always do this after we've had a little individual laughing. Someone in the center making very expressive movements as they laugh, <clears throat> very, and uh, everybody doing the same thing. In other words, if you roll on the floor with laughter, everybody will roll on the floor. If you jump up in the air with laughter, everybody else will jump in the air. Now, whoever does it shouldn't change too quickly. Maybe you should establish one kind of laughter. And you know, <clears throat> laughing can be rocking or rolling or exploding or shaking or whatnot, because you will be sort of leading the group in these things. Would anyone like to do that? 